Hey home fries, it's Uncle Spud, back again with number, episode, excuse me, number six of our Pokemon Pearl Nuzlocke. Uh, last time we did some stuff in the Valley Windworks, and as you can see on our screen right over here, we are just about to face our first, I guess you call it boss or mini boss, uh, Mars, the Commander Mars. Uh, last time I talked a little bit about her per ugly, I did a little research on her, because I know she, uh, it can be a little bit of a pain. Uh, I leveled people up just a smidge, but not too much. I want to make this a challenge, and I I just don't want it to... I don't want to over-level. So I am a little under-leveled. I think, I think her top, her per-ugly is like a level 14 or 15, I think. Um, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to get to it. I'm going to start... I'm going to start... Yeah, we'll just do a quick recap. I'm going to start with Drac. Um, we'll just do a quick recap on everybody. Uh, we got Drac here with Leech Life, Supersonic, Astonish, uh, Starbright with Tackle, Growl, Quick Attack, Wing Attack, Franklin uh, with Tackle, Withdraw, Absorb, Razor Leaf, Nala with Tackle, Leer, and Charge, Jiminy with Growl, Bide, Fury, Cutter, and Rock Smash. That Rock Smash might come in handy with that. And then Adrian knowing Tackle, Defense, Curl, Rock Throw, and Rock Polish. So yeah, we're going to start with Drac. Uh, I think she's got two Pokemon. Well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So, let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, it... If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. That sounds like a fair deal. <laughs> Especially seeing that you're only carrying, what, two Pokemon? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's a Zubat. Okay, so we got Zubat on Zubat. Here we go. It's level 14. Alright. So naturally, I want to go for Supersonic. Got a bite. Owie! Alright, so now that that's set, I think I want to switch out. Where do I want to go with this? Um, we're going to go with Starbright. Come on. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. This is not going to be an easy battle. There we go. Gets me a free turn in, and he gets some damage. Let's get a stab. He outspeeds, but let's get a stab. Here we go. Hurts himself again. Oh, okay. We're going to take this thing out, no problem. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? I'm winning. That's what I'm doing. I'm winning. That's what I do. Uh, hit yourself again. Just make it easy for me. Okay, that's fine. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, of course we flinched. We should be able to get this wing attack off, though. Ooh, toxic. Not fun. Okay, we're probably not going to be using Starbright for the rest of this battle. Okay. Now we get to the fun one. I know this per ugly knows fake out, and it's always gonna go for fake out first, first time. I think Adrian's gonna be our best bet with the high defense. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go out to Adrian. And we're gonna definitely see what we can do initially. Yep, level 16. Oh, didn't go for the fake out. Interesting. Went for the faint attack. Did some damage. Not too bad. That didn't do as much as I was hoping it would. I mean, I could be cheap and I could just, you know, buff up defense curl. I don't know if Fain attack, Fain attack is physical or not, but that's getting alarming, and that didn't help me out at all. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna go out for the big guns right now. Come on, Franklin. It's just wanting to keep doing faint attack. Okay. I'm gonna go for a stab razor leaf. Scratch. That's that's not gonna do too much. Oh, okay. Let's see how much a razor leaf does. Okay. Oh, we got a crit. There we go. She's got a berry. I think just to play it safe, because I definitely do not want to lose Franklin. Uh, we're going to heal up. We can use items, remember, in this lock. I mean... We, we want to... We're making it a bit of a challenge, but not an insane challenge. Alright, so we got a scratch. We should be fine. I think we're gonna be fine. I think I overworked myself too much. I'm pretty sure this this probably knows uh, fake out too, but it just decided not to use it. But yeah, this razor leaf should hopefully get the KO and we should be good. Nope, nope, okay, we are not out of the fire yet. Okay. Let's use a potion again. She goes for scratch. That's not going to do too much. We should... Oh, no. We don't need to heal. We should be fine. See, I was getting myself overworked for something. That wasn't that big of a deal. Yep. Okay. Just hold my breath there for a second. Like... Don't let it be some crazy crit that just KO's us. All right, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Perugly's down. We. Uh, it looks like we got everything taken care of. So Franklin's gonna get another level, grow up to 16, and I think. Well, Adrian got some level up too. Got up to level 13. We take down Mars. We didn't lose anything, which is nice. This can't be I lost. Yeah, give me your money. <laughs> Oops, I messed that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave us for the time being. And then we save this guy. Uh, Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they made any so and nothing they said made any sense to me. Uh, I can't tell you how grateful I am for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. And here's little daughter, Papa. Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Well, that's great. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah, they had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visit again. Of course, she's talking about... Oh, wait a second. I have a poisoned Pokemon. I almost forgot about that. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. I only have one antidote. I need to go buy another antidote. Okay, Starbright's healed. That's good. I can't remember if this gen is where the poison will go away at 1 HP or if it will faint. So I'm not taking any chances there. Uh, but what I was saying with the girl, uh, there's like a event Pokemon that comes on. I think it's like Saturdays or Sundays. It's Drifloom that comes into that area. So let's heal up. Let's get a antidote. And then we're going to head up north. I think we're going to get into a couple of areas. I got myself worried for that battle and I didn't even need to. I probably could have done just fine. I mean, it was Franklin, of course, was... Our go-to. We probably could have went with Jiminy too. Uh, with Rock Smash. Or I should have taught Rock Smash to, to Adrian. But that's all good. Alright, let's make sure we got an antidote or two before we leave. And maybe a couple of potions. Let's get a couple of potions. Because we're not really at super potion level yet. But let's get about two or three, not that many, uh, two or three antidotes. There we go. All right, so let's head up north. We're going to get some battles and hopefully get a, a new encounter or two to see uh, what new possible catches we get. Oh, 
Have we gotten 205? I don't think we have because yeah, this is Valley Windworks. Yeah. Let me just check our uh, our handy dandy book and see if we have gotten some in 205. I don't think we have. Uh, 205. No, we have not. All right. So we're going to get an encounter like right off the bat. So, uh, yeah, we can leave Drac out in front. That's fine. But 205. Here's our encounter. Here we go. What we got? All right. Weasel. Bluezel, or however you say it. That's a Pokemon I've never used before. Um, could be nice to have a water type on our team. It's only level 8 though, so we'll, it'll probably end up going into the box for a little bit. Let's see. Not much on the Astonish. We could leech life, get a little bit of health back. That'll be nice. It's using growl. That's nice. Dropping my attack. You know what? I might just throw a ball now. Now that's in yellow. Might. See if I get a chance at catching it. Just for kicks. I, I know we got a good amount of Pokeballs. I checked that. Just before I started the episode. I was just thinking about that. Let's see. One. Nope. Alright. This is the Gen 2 where it's like if it has that un irregular pause, you're like, yep, it's breaking out. <laughs> Alright. So let's do another Astonish or two. Get it down to red, and then we should catch this. I think I know. Oh, no, it's a female. Alright, so... Leech Life should be able to... As long as I don't crit, I should be fine. Let's not kill it. Remember, this is our only chance on Route 205. We're good. We're good. This Pokemon's in the bag. So, there we go. Into the ball. One, two, three, and caught. There we go. All right, Weasel is in the team. Let's get our book out real quick. I still need to nickname this thing. I'm not sure what I want to nickname this thing. 205. Oh, it looks like it does it automatically. Goes to the next bit. Uh, a weasel. And what are we going to name you? What are we going to name you? Let's name you. Weasel, weasel, weasel. Uh, let's see. Weasel, water, otter. It's like a, it's like a mix between an otter and a weasel. Um, what should I nickname you? Female. Hmm. I've just gone with like random names that I've thought of. Um. Actually, you know what? I'm going to call her this. <laughs> um, if anybody's watched my old shiny hunting. Actually, no, I don't think I have this one on. Uh, I think I did this when I wasn't streaming anymore. I caught a shiny, um, not Buizel, but it's evolution. I can't even remember what it's called. Um, I call it SFD or safety flotation device. So that's what we're going to name it. Safety flotation device, SFD for short. Uh, join the team. So far we have not lost a chance of catching a Pokemon. That's, I hope we can keep that streak up. 
Uh, let's get, see. Oh, looks like we're gonna go into a battle. So let's get a battle going. Camper Jacob bringing out a Ponyta. Alright, so let's see. I would love for Dract I would love for Dract to learn bite. That was actually quite handy. Let's see. I I guess we'll use Astonish, see how much it does. Ooh! Owie! Uh, okay, well, that's, uh, that's something we gotta look at to change. Let's send out, I think Nala can take a couple of hits. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to get a little nervous here. Uh, bulk up on defense. Here we go, Adrian. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I was so worried about the purr ugly, I didn't think of the trainer right next with the ponytail. All right, there we go. There we go. And I think the uh, rock throw is going to be super effective, too. So, neither of these should do a ton of damage. And we'll get that rock throw going. Tackle should finish it off, and I think we are in good shape, but holy cow. That, uh, that ponytail's relentless. There we go. Got an unnecessary critical hit for that KO. But we did get some good experience. That's good. Alright, so... I don't want to do this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of these potions. I want Drac to learn Bite. That will come in handy having a dark move. Something a little bit more sustainable for him. But let's go ahead and use these three potions here. Get us back in good health. You know, I was thinking Franklin was gonna evolve too, and I, I, was, I was talking about that earlier. And it doesn't look like it. Uh, but it looks like Franklin's gonna get some good XP. Unless I, you know what, I'll probably use Jiminy with some Rock Smash on that hiker. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about this, Shellos. Uh, we'll just get out of here. Ooh, ooh, he doesn't want me to get that. Gotta time this right, gotta time this right, gotta time this right, gotta time ah, this right. <laughs> no! Alright. Here we go. Oh man, he's got four. Here we go. All right, so I could obviously send out Franklin and he would just destroy this, uh, but I want to, I want to send out Jiminy. Just to get some, some experience. My rock smashing bug. Ooh, owie, that's true. We didn't think of that. <sighs> All right, fine. <laughs> Be that way. We'll just mop the floor with you with Franklin. Franklin's probably gonna evolve pretty soon now. All right, so speed rises, that should be fine. Oh, it actually outspeeds me now. That's not gonna fight, hurt. Be blah, blah, blah. it's not gonna do anything because I'm gonna take this thing out in one hit easily with a stab, four times effective razor leaf with a high chance of critting. So there goes Geo, dude. And you know what? Franklin's just gonna. Franklin's just gonna. Oh wait, no, it's a Machamp now. Or a Machop, not a Machamp. Thank goodness, not a Machamp. Uh, let's see. Oh, Starbright. Starbright would be perfect for this. If 
All right, so we'll get that wing attack. Super effective. Get that out of the way. I don't think it's gonna one hit. Yeah. Wasting your time. You're never gonna get a hit off. All right, so that's good XP for Starbright. There we go. Stretch my back out. Starbright gets a level 13. That was a lot of experience. Double team? Absolutely. Uh, I'll try to avoid using the double team because I know it can be a really cheap move. <laughs> uh, but we'll have that in case we're in a tight pinch. Alright, yeah. So we'll switch back out to Franklin and... Just keep things keep things safe. All right, so yeah, that's Razor Leaf. Let's just get through this, and we'll finally be able to get that item. Let's see if he's got one more Geo Dude. I would not be surprised if he does. No, it's a Bidoof. Um, I would. You know what? I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna take a risk. I know he's bulky, but I think Jiminy's gonna outspeed him. And we got enough health, I think. I want to see what a Rock Smash does. This might be a bad choice. Okay. Tackle shouldn't do too much. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Jiminy's got this. That a boy, Jiminy. All right, so we got that taken care of, and we finally get through this hiker. Get a little bit of experience for Jiminy, and we get a little bit of cash, and we're off to grab this item. Which is a hey, X attack. I never have. Have you guys ever used X items? Like I know you can use it in like speed. Oh yeah, here we go. This looks like fun. Okay, we're gonna be sneaky. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh no, he's coming back. Run around. All right, I'm still into. Oh yeah, I got another hiker there. See? See? It kept going in a circle. She was going counterclockwise, and then right when I go, she comes back. It's like a trap. <laughs> I decided to go down there because I wanted to go get that item. But now we're facing a Roma Lady. But I think... Well, let's see. Badu, I think, is part poison, too, so... Leech Life actually doesn't do that much, but... Let's see if we can get Drac up to level 13. Alright, so we got to hit itself. That's nice. Let's see how much an Astonish does. Because I don't think Leaf's Life's going to do much. <laughs> it doesn't look like Astonish is either. But at least we get the flinch. Let's see if we can get another one. Two? Two? Alright, three? I don't know what my longest flinch streak is. Three? Three? Four? Four? No. Okay, got confusion. Will it hit itself? Oh, man. Alright, so four straight flinches. Um, and then we got the confusion hit. So Drak took care of that Badoo all by himself. Good job, buddy. Level 13. Do you finally learn? Yes. <laughs> A half-decent physical move? I mean, don't get me wrong, Astonish the flinching was nice. But uh, Bite will come in very handy. 
Um, we've already done this area, so if we run into anything, it doesn't count. Ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we found a Pokeball over here. That's nice. We're gonna get some berries. Uh, I haven't given items to any of my Pokemon, which probably isn't the smartest thing to do. But we forgot our first orange berry, and we can definitely give that to somebody. Let's go ahead and give it to... It's just like 10 HP, so it's not that big of a... Uh, big of a deal. But... We can just give it to Drac. Drac can chomp on a berry. Alright, so let's jump over that ledge. Let's... Yeah, we don't want to go back down there. We're going to avoid this guy. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal up Jiminy. And then I'm going to put him out in front. Because I think he's going to deal with a couple of rock types. Well, actually, no. Because that rock throw is super effective. So I'm probably, I'm probably going to do it simple and just put Franklin out in front. All right, because he is like my one good answer. Unless I, you know what? I could just skip him <laughs> and we can get back to that later off screen. I like to, I mean, a lot of the battles, those small battles and stuff, I just like to do off screen because it, one, it helps with grinding and two, it's it's just kind of monotonous, especially if I don't foresee it being a, a major threat. So, okay. Was not ready for her. <laughs> not ready for her. She came out of nowhere. And I think she's kind of like a fighting type, yeah. Battle girl Kelsey with her Machop. Uh, this would be perfect for Starbright. But you know what? Let's gonna let's go ahead and just have Franklin get a quick kill. And when I mean kill, I mean faint, because Pokemon don't die, apparently. They do in Nuzlocke, though, so... <laughs> Alright, so uses Foresight, nothing big there. We're just gonna keep using the Razor Leaf. Maybe get a crit this time? Maybe? Just maybe? Nope? Okay. I don't think that Karate Chop's gonna do much. No, no, we're good. A little overkill here, but never hurts. And that should be the end of our friend Kelsey. Franklin's grown up to level 17, getting a, some good stats across the board. And Curse. Do I want him to learn Curse? Move that works differently uh, for the ghost types than any other types. Yep, yeah, and I don't think I'm gonna use it. I don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna teach Franklin Curse. All right, here we go. We got a repel. That could come in handy. We're not going to be able to go that way, but <laughs> I think we can heal right at this house right here. So this will be a good, uh, this might be a good final battle for us. Karina with her Piplup. Oh, okay. Never mind. This is, this is going to be quick. <laughs> I'm just surprised Franklin has not, uh, evolved yet. It's actually kind of surprising. It must be level 18. But yeah, this should, uh... This should take out that Piplup. Yeah. Alright, Karina's all... All but done, and... I believe, if memory serves me right... I know I probably shouldn't just go down here. Oh yeah, there's an item. Okay. Got a super potion, that's nice. All right, and real quick, I'm pretty sure this person heals. 
This is a healing house. Yep. Okay. That always helps. And then... Oh, that's right. We got the Eterna Forest coming up. We definitely want to save that for another episode. Uh, we're going to put Drac back up in front. Because I definitely want to see him use bites is that is that right here okay so this guy um this guy doesn't do anything major here yep it looks like we have the force next all right so sounds good i think we're gonna keep this a shorter episode uh but just recap we we dealt with commander mars didn't have a huge issue there had a bit of an issue with a trainer's ponyta uh, but we've gone through Route 205, and next episode we'll go into Eterna Forest, and we're going to do a couple of double battles, so that should be fun. So, I think that's going to be it. So, hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. I'm Uncle Spud. Uh, be the very best. We'll see you next time. This has been our Pokemon Pro Nuzlocke. See you around, guys.